Hello friends, it's Nurse Ags back with another video and this one is not nursing related. It's actually a hack for how to keep your hair dry when you go swimming. All right, so I've been taking swimming lessons. I know I'm a grown ass adult, but hey, I gotta do what I gotta do, right? And for me, the biggest dilemma was how I was gonna keep my hair dry because I am natural, I have borsy hair, uh, which is another way of saying my hair is very coarse and textured and whenever it gets wet it just mats together so i just knew i would have to keep my hair dry by whatever means necessary if i was going to take these swim lessons through trial and error i found something that works for me now um my edges get a little bit wet but what matters to me is like the t ends of my hair and the crown of my head and majority of my hair to say the least so so what you'll need is two swim caps i have one that's just like a regular one it's Speedo brand. I have another one that I got through Amazon. And this one's a little bit different. It, it kind of um, goes below your ears. This is the one that I started off with. And I thought I was cute because I just started off with just putting this on my head and nothing else. That did not work for me. Okay. So um, this is my second swim cap. And then um, a good old shower cap. Um, a hair tie. And then I have one of these headbands. And it's not cloth material, um, it's more of like, I want to say like polyester maybe, um, but I didn't want to get cotton because I was trying to keep water from soaking into it as much as possible. Um, so that's all you'll need. So to start, um, my hair is <laughs> is my little um, ASAP Rocky braid, <laughs> um, which helps a lot because if my hair was all out, it would be really hard to put into these swim caps. So all I do is I take my hair tie and um, I just tie my hair on top of my head as to keep the water from getting to it. The purposes of this video, my hair's like been washed and cleaned and I don't want to put on, you know, that chlorinated swim cap on my head. So I'm just going to protect my hair using one of my wraps, but you do not need this when you go swimming, okay? So what you really do, you start off with swim cap number one, the one without the ear. And I just stretch that over my head okay and then you put on um, your swim cap just like that and you get your headband and you put that on and this is going to help secure the swim cap to your head Okay. There's layers to this, people. There's layers to this. Okay. And lastly, you just put on your last swim cap, the one that covers your ears. Okay. And like I said, I got that one from Amazon. And I am ready to go swimming. That's it, people. Try your best to cover up that, that band, though. Yes, you will feel like you have a face left, but all that matters is that your hair is dry. So this is all I do, and my hair has been able to stay dry, especially this part. The perimeter does get a little bit wet, so all I do is I'll just rinse that off with um, water when I get home, my shower, and maybe sometimes I'll put a little you know, shampoo or whatever, but... For the most part, that's all I've had to do, and I've been good to go. So, yes, you too can swim as an adult. If you're a naturalista or if you have a lot of hair, yes, you can swim as well. All right, I hope this helps someone out there. Bye.